Dewey equals I times T formula practice by kscience.com. The formula linking charge, current, and time is charge flow equals current times time. The symbol for charge is Q, capital Q. The symbol for current is I, capital I. And the symbol for time is lowercase t. So Q equals I times T. The unit for charge flow, Q, is coulombs, and that's a capital C. So the unit for Q is capital C coulombs. The unit for I, current, is amperes, and that is a capital A. And the unit for time, T, is seconds, S, seconds. This circuit that I'm drawing has one cell and one bulb, and it's in a series. The current flowing through the circuit is two amps, two amps, and the circuit was switched on for 10 seconds. So the time is 10 seconds. So you can use the current and the time to calculate the charge flow in the circuit. And you can do that by using the equation Q charge flow equals I times T. So current times time. So we're trying to calculate Q. So you don't need to rearrange the equation. So Q equals I, which is two amps, times time, which is 10 seconds. So Q equals two times 10. So the charge flowing through the circuit is 20 coulombs. So in this example, we have the charge, which is 20 coulombs. And we have the time the circuit was switched on for, which is the time, which means we can use this information to calculate the current, which is the rate of charge flow through the circuit. So the current equals Q divided by T. We've rearranged it for I. So I equals Q over T. So I equals the charge, which is 20 coulombs, divided by the time in seconds, which is five seconds. So I equals 20 divided by five, which gives you a current of four amps, which is the same as saying four coulombs of charge flowing every second. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. You are asked to calculate the quantity of charge flowing through the circuit. And because you have current and time, that means you recall the equation Q equals I times T. Charge equals current times time. So you've got I, current. You've got T, time. And we're trying to calculate Q, the charge, so you leave the formula as it is. So Q equals the current I, which is 0 0.5 amps, times by the time the circuit is on for. That's going to be 180 seconds. So it's 0 0.5 amps times 180 seconds. So the answer for the charge flowing through the circuit is 90 coulombs. There is 90 coulombs of charge flowing through the circuit. So in this question, you were asked to calculate the current flowing through the circuit. So recall the equation Q equals I times T. Charge equals current times time. So you've got the charge, which is 20 coulombs, and you've got T, the time, which is 40 seconds. So we're trying to work out the current I. So you rearrange for I, the current. So I equals Q charge divided by T time. So you now have I equals Q over t. So now you substitute in the numbers, I current equals 20 coulombs, 20 coulombs divided by 40 seconds. Because current is the rate of flow of charge. So the current is 0 0.5 amps, which means there is 0 0.5 coulombs flowing per second through the circuit. So in the last example, we have a current of 100 amps and the circuit was switched on for two minutes. 
trying to work out Q the charge. Q equals I times T. So it's 100 amps times by not minutes, but seconds. So you must times two minutes by 60 to convert the minutes to seconds. So it's 100 times 120, which gives you a charge Q for this circuit of 12,000 coulombs. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.